low carb, high protein diet for weight loss or even fat loss, is it worth it? In this video, I'm gonna tell you, let's get this. What up, what up, as Dane, getting people jacked with science daily. So the low carbohydrate, high protein diet, does it actually work for fat loss? Here's my opinion. In some ways, yes. In some ways, I don't recommend it at all. So why do I recommend it for most people? The reason why this diet works is because number one, it's a low carbohydrate diet and that forces you to eat a lot more protein. As we know, protein is the number one macronutrient that makes us feel fuller and provides a lot more satiety. So what does that mean? If we have more satiety on a diet, that's obviously gonna mean more fat loss because we're less inclined to eat more, right? It's quite simple. So that's why the low carbohydrate diet, high protein diet will work for most people. Now, the second reason why I don't recommend this diet for most people is because it is. You need to understand that carbohydrates is the primary source of energy, the best macronutrient for energy production, right? Some people claim that, oh yeah, let's go, go on a ketosis diet, high fat diet, that's superior for energy production. That's gonna still give you a lot of energy, right? Fine, it is. It's still gonna give you energy, but is it gonna give you as much energy and as fast energy as carbohydrates? Probably not because it doesn't produce as much energy and as fast as it does. So that's that, carbohydrates, way more superior energy. So what does this actually mean to you anyway? What it means is that if you're an individual that plays a lot of sport, there's a lot of um, lifting weights, bodybuilding, whatever you wanna call it, but most importantly, live a very active lifestyle. For example, if you're someone that works on a construction site, um, bricklaying or just a very active, active job, right? Then you are gonna require a lot more carbohydrates than someone that's saying an office job all day. In that case, uh, low carbohydrate, high protein diet, sure, go ahead, go ahead. You don't need all these carbohydrates for energy production. So the main reason the low carbohydrate, high protein diet works for most people is because it also gives them a little bit of a placebo effect. So Dave, what do you mean by a placebo effect? Here's what I mean. The reason being is because I said weight loss, right? Weight loss and fat loss, completely different. When you go on a low carb diet, here's what happens. Number one, your carbohydrates in your muscles are stored as glycogen, right? So the glycogen in your muscles deplete, basically meaning there's less glycogen in your muscles. Now, what does that all mean? What this means is that for every one gram of carbohydrate, four grams of water is attached to it. Now all this water in your muscle that gets depleted as well, there's not as much water in the muscle. Hence why, when you've got a low carbohydrate diet, the special good at diet, you step on a scale in two days, whoa man, I've lost like so much weight. Yeah, weight, not fat. When it comes to fat loss, one thing matters, only one thing. How big is your calorie deficit? The bigger the calorie deficit, the faster the fat loss, and also the increases of likelihood of losing muscle mass, right? So calorie deficit, the bigger it is, faster fat loss, probably more muscle loss as well in most cases. So keep all that in mind if your goal is to maintain lean muscle mass. How do you calculate a calorie deficit? Here's how you do it, man. Do 15 times your body weight in pounds and do 14 times your body weight in pounds if you're a female. That's your calorie maintenance, right? That's how many calories you need to eat per day in order to sustain everything, man. Just maintain it. Now, if you're someone that wants to go aggressive fat loss diet and keep in mind this is probably gonna be a crash diet, right? You're gonna lose a lot of fat, but probably bounce back again if you don't have an exit strategy. So keep this in mind. So minus 1,000 for the aggressive diet, minus 500 for a moderate size deficit for a good amount of fat loss, but also some good adherence, right? You'll be able to adhere to it for a longer period of time. So that's me. I don't, I don't wanna keep talking now, man. The low carb, high protein diet, that's how it works. And actually one more thing that I have to mention is that the carb to fat ratio does not matter at all. A meta analysis showed 35 studies that the carb to fat ratio, when it's all equated and the calories and protein are equated, meaning they're both equal, it, fat loss just didn't matter. So, or the difference of fat loss didn't matter. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, man, subscribe down below to the channel. Let's get jacked. I'm using science to help people get jacked on a daily. Stay positive, stay smiling. Let's get this and I'll see you in the next one.